Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community, I'm Trigger and today I'm going to show you a B tier car that you have absolutely been overlooking. Let's go! Alright, before I get into the video, I appreciate you guys coming by and if you want any of my builds, you can reach them on my website militiagamingcode.com, click builds and click the game that you're looking for. There's also a form down there, you can submit your builds if you have any. But here, let's get into this RSX. So shout out to my editor, Steven Militia, for figuring out this build. I don't think I would have found it this fast because I've been concentrating on some of the more expensive cars and front wheel drive just really wasn't viable in heat, so I wasn't really looking for this type of build. But it definitely is in Unbound. And this car is honestly one of the best B tier builds I've played with that isn't super broken like the Pista. And I'll put a link to that one if you haven't seen it in the description. Anyways. This is an actual legit build that most of you are definitely overlooking. It actually can unlock nine different cars super easily from the B tier challenges. You've got these nine, the Grand National, the Q60, the Lotus Exige, Mini Countryman, Mitsubishi Eclipse, Mitsubishi Evo X, the Hakusuka Skyline, the Firebird, and the Volvo Amazon. Now you probably already have the RSX, but if you don't, it's unlocked by completing, not winning, just completing three B tier playlists. It's super easy and it shouldn't take you too long. I'll give you the build first and then I'll go through a couple of tips on how to drive it. So here's the build. You want the stock engine. It's 292 horsepower, 2.0 liter I4. You want the pro induction, sport ECU, sport fuel system, sport exhaust, sport roots supercharger, pro NOS, Elite Neutral Suspension, the Basic Brakes, Super Grip Tires, Pro Clutch, 6-Speed Gearbox, Elite Differential, and for your auxiliaries you want Drift and Grip, so just pick the super variety of those. Handling percentage is going to be at 100% grip, steering sensitivity is at plus 5, downforce is also at plus 5, and then your drift entry is brake tap. Now this is important because you're gonna be letting off the gas and pressing it again quite a bit using a grip car, and so it's important to not have grip as an option there. All right, now for the driving tips. This is one of the only legit B tier grip builds that I've seen used, so you need to remember that when you're driving. Brake before the corners, take the turns like a grip car. Attempting to drift this car will result in bad lap times and losing races. The neat thing about this car is it builds both regular NOS and burst NOS when you grip a corner. So plan for that when you're taking a corner. If you enter the corner with some burst NOS, use that burst NOS mid corner or just before the corner to wrap the corner while gripped and not only increase that corner's speed, but also earn yourself even more grip NOS. It actually feels very, very good to drive. It's very stable in corners. It really grips up and the chance of spinning out is very minimal. Now you do have to pay attention to curbs curbs can be this car's demise. I mean, it really can spin you out, especially if you're on the gas really hard going through a corner and you hit a curb. So just be careful of curbs, that could spin you out. But aside from that, if you're just on flat ground, uh, you can grip almost every single corner and it is faster to do so because you leave that corner with a whole bunch of NOS that you can use. Like I said, not only the burst NOS, but you also get regular NOS. So aside from that, you should be good to go. It's not the fastest off the line, but it's no slouch either. So you might have to pass a car early in the race. Just plan for a nice grip corner that you can take the right line. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to all the Heat 5 members. And if you want to see your name up here with the rest of these legends, you can click the join button and become a Heat 5 member today. I appreciate all the support. I will catch you on the next one. Trigger out.